a hearty welcome to all of you. In this video, we are discussing about hypothesis of the research work, which is mostly confused part in anyone's research journey. Let us start this hypothesis with a definition. What is meant by hypothesis or research hypothesis? Very first, it is actually, it can be any idea or a statement that tends to explain a research problem or a research question and tries to bring out the facts out of it that has been not proved till date. Now, it has become the integral part of the research methods we have to carry out in experiments. Therefore, we must be very careful while do preparation of the hypothesis. Later, let us go to the step-by-step -step formulation of hypothesis. Very first, the research question. Whenever we begin to prepare hypothesis, it must start with the research question that it should be written in a very simple and specific way that it addresses our problem statement. We must first of all understand what is our topic. Then we must prepare a very simple, specific and only related to the topic that we have chosen for research. Now, once we have the good problem statement, we can put down many questions which are actually very focused and researchable with respect to whatever the conditions we have put down to carry out our research. Once the research question has been asked, next we can carry out a simple initial research or as a preliminary research. At this stage, we have to carry out a simple answer set for the questions that have put down in the very first stage of research question. Now, we should search for what is already known and reported on the concerned topic. Are they published via the previous research works and the respective studies of theoretical aspects such that what type of research we are going to carry out. Here, at this stage, we can gather a evidence and we can also prepare a framework for our research methodology and we can try to figure to the answers what we are going to do. Now, sometimes we have to create some assumptions also during this initial research. Later, once the initial research of previous works and theories have been carried out, we have to go with preparation of the very first draft of our hypothesis. And this must be a clear and concise answer to the question that have been posed in our research work. Now, here at this stage, we might have got already an idea about what we are going to expect through our outcomes and what we are going to get in a result oriented work. Depending upon the topic we have chosen, we can also go to our problem statement and we can rewrite it depending upon how we have prepared 
a draft. Now, there may be many ways to prepare a draft, but it must be clear and must be very concise such that there are no confusions while we go to the next stages. Once a draft is prepared, we have to move towards, as given RRR, we have to refine, revisit, and rewrite, or we can say, phrasing of the research hypothesis. Now, in this stage, once the draft is prepared, we have to verify very whether the first draft is addressing the concerned problem statement or not. And we must think that or assume that our hypothesis is very specific and researchable. And, and also see that it is purely focused on our topic that has been selected. Now, here, in order to refine, we must have some clear pictures like a relevant variables are there or any relationships are there clearly or any specific groups that are going to be studying this particular research are, and also the expected outcomes, what are we going to get through this experiment or analysis and also look for the testing and validation of our research such that it is in a clear and concise way. Once refined, re revisit and rewrite, the phrasing of this hypothesis is complete. Once it is finished, we have to go to the final stage of our research hypothesis. That is null hypothesis. Here, whenever we feel that we are going to have a statistical testing, we must simply prepare a null testing. Means there is no any issues with respect to whatever the problems that have been and there are no connection between the variables during the statistical testing, we must prepare a null hypothesis. And we have to avoid the confusions such that we can have a clear picture of what that has been questioned in the research work. And in the null hypothesis, it is clearly given that there is no relationship between the two variables that has been provided. It will be dependent or independent variables. Once this null hypothesis is prepared, then we can assume that our hypothesis has been prepared in a good way. Now, let me tell you one point here. Most of the people think that they know everything about hypothesis before they write their thesis, but actually it is most loosely discussed topic and everyone feels that they know this hypothesis. Now, first of all, it should be very specific within academic research. So, we should be very clear what we are writing and is it understandable to the research fraternity and also what are the words we are using throughout our hypothesis must be very specific in nature such that the entire hypothesis of the research doesn't go out of the context and it is stick on to the concerned research topic only. 
and also we have to keep it in mind that even a simplest of the flaw which is created during the formation of hypothesis can lead to an adverse effect on the entire investigation and analysis part of the research work. By keeping it in mind, we should have so many questions in mind, but also we should make it as simple as possible. Once again, let me define hypothesis. It's nothing but a statement which tries to give as an explanation for the two questions, why and how, purely based upon the facts and if not facts, some assumptions that are very nearer to the facts and that has been not at all experimented earlier, we should carry out. This is about hypothesis of research work.